Hey guys, so I need to begin this by saying that I never wanted to make this video. The information that I'm about to share with you has been secret for months and I intended for it to stay that way. But the way that Darren Ryder has been slandering Isa Mazard has meant that I feel obligated to speak up. So as some of you may or may not know, Freely and Durian Ryder had a break last year and during that break Harley slept with multiple young women, all of whom are in their early 20s. So while they were on their break, Harley was in Chiang Mai for a time and he was at a potluck that I was also at. And as I was just finishing my ebook, I asked him for his opinion on it and he said that it looked good and then asked me how I created the cover of it and then asked if I could teach him how I did it. I agreed to do so and he messaged me the next day and asked me to meet him that evening. Once we met, he invited me to return to his hotel room with him and once we were there, he asked me if I would design the channel art and ebook cover of his latest ebook, both of which he's still using. And I agreed to do that. He said that in return for doing those two things for him, he would do a video shout out for me, which he did actually do about a month later. Um, shortly after we got to the hotel room, he let me know that he and Freely had broken up. I was not aware about that until that moment. And I said how sorry I was to hear that. And he let me know some details of why they had broken up. He then went and took a shower, he left the room, and I started to work on designing his channel art. When he returned to the room, he sat on the couch beside me, and a very tie-sized couch, there was almost no room between us. And as he was sitting beside me, I had my hair in a ponytail, and he kind of ran his hand over my hair, said something about it being nice, and it was, it was in that moment that I started to feel uncomfortable. Um, I just started to feel sick. My legs were shaking, so I went to the bathroom. And by the time I came back, he was pretty involved in designing the channel art himself, like playing around with it. So we did most of the channel art together. And then as it was sort of ending, he wrote on the computer, do you want to kiss me? I said no and tried to laugh it off. He asked me again and I said no again and shortly after that I finished the channel art and he walked me out. Um, before I left he asked me again if I was sure if I wanted to leave and I had a friend staying with me at the time so I said that I had to get back to her. He made a joke about her joining us and then I left very soon after that. So fast forward to the next day, um, we messaged a little bit through the day, he was on a bike ride, he told me about the bike ride, I showed him what I was doing at school, I was working full time um, last year and then he asked me what well, I said to him, can I send through you what I've done for the ebook cover so far and he said it would be better to do it in person so I agreed to meet with him again that night and the second night was basically the same as the first night. He asked me if I thought about what we talked about the night before, and I said yes, I had thought about it, and the answer was still no. But he didn't respect my answer, he kissed me anyway, and then started to ask for more. I ended up making excuses, I had a friend in my apartment that I had to get back to, I was on my period, I was uncomfortable with how close it was to the breakup with Freely, but he didn't listen to my excuses and he continued to ask me for more. At the time I looked up to him because he'd always been nice to me and I saw him as a friend. Um, but in my opinion this sort of behaviour, especially as a self-proclaimed leader, is inappropriate. Particularly when you're in the company of someone who is younger than you and who looks up to you. And Harley is constantly portraying himself as this white knight in the vegan community who is trying to stick up for young women and alert them to sexual predators. But the irony of this is, in my experience, he has been the most sexually predatory person that I have come across in this community. And that's why I feel the need to make this video. 
Since they have come back to Chiang Mai for the bike festival, he has been back in contact with me. He wanted to know when I was going to be going up Doisetep when I was purposefully not going back up in order to avoid them. He let me know that he thought I was looking good and he had a conversation with one of my friends during which he again said to her that I was looking good and he asked her if I was still living where I had been living last year. And the most recent contact I had with him was about four days ago and I finished that conversation by asking him not to contact me again. Now obviously I haven't explained every single detail of the situation and honestly I already feel uncomfortable revealing this much but I do feel that it's important for me to speak up because the behaviour that Harley is accusing Isa of is exactly what I experienced. He said he accused Isel of inviting young girls back to his apartment or his hotel room and that's exactly what I experienced. The irony of it is that it wasn't Isel that invited me back to his hotel room, it was Harley. It is completely hypocritical of Harley to accuse someone else of contacting young girls on the internet, luring them back to his hotel room to ask them for sex when that is literally exactly what he himself has done. So I mentioned earlier that there were multiple young girls involved and the reason I know this is because Freely Skyped me after Harley returned to Australia. Um, she wanted to know more details about what had happened between Harley and I and during that Skype she let me know that when Harley left Chiang Mai and went back to Australia he slept with multiple young girls then. And she found out about this and when she confronted him with it he lied to her, said nothing had happened. And then when she said that she knew, his tactic was apparently that he was going to deny it, that if any of them said anything, he would just say that it never happened because I suppose he thought people would believe him over them. So Freely knows exactly what he's done. She defends him when Tana Mojo calls him a creep and she defends him when he wants to call someone else a pedophile. The hypocrisy of this situation is ridiculous. I think that Harley expects us as a community to just allow him to slander someone when there are simply no other allegations other than Harley's. And as we've all seen, Harley does not take criticism well. I don't know how he's going to react to this video. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm going to be jealous of Freely. Maybe I'm desperate for views. Maybe Isel is paying me. I mean, who knows? I think that he'll either try to deny it or he'll try to embarrass me. I'm sure that he will call me ungrateful, say that I'm backstabbing him, but here's the thing. I'm simply disappointed in the person that I've seen Harley show himself to be. I'm grateful for the things that have been a positive influence in my life. Obviously inspiring more people to be vegan and live a more active lifestyle is a great thing. But Harley simply needs to stop accusing other people of behaviour that he himself is guilty of. Harley, you accuse people of reaching out to young girls online in order to ask them for sex when you yourself have done that. You accuse a lot of other people of being on the juice when you yourself are currently on steroids. So as I have said, I am very hesitant to make this video. I don't like involving myself in vegan drama and I really don't think it helps the movement. It's not what my channel's about. But it felt very wrong to be silent on this issue because Harley is now trying to damage control the situation without taking any responsibility for his actions. So this is my message. Harley, stop the bullshit accusations towards other people of behaviour that you yourself are guilty of. Please stop creating drama and infighting within the vegan community and focus on the bigger issues here. So now I've said what I feel like I needed to say and it's up to Harley to figure out what he wants to do in response. To everyone else watching this video, I hope you can see that my intentions behind making this is not to stir more controversy, not to create more drama, but simply to inform you all of the reality behind Harley's behavior and accusations towards others. Baby,